how do you know if this house is the one? I would actually argue that houses aren't the one. When you're a first time home buyer, your goal isn't to find your dream forever home. Sometimes that does happen and that's awesome. But in more competitive markets, especially in Southern California, we're not looking for the right forever home. We're looking for the right for this phase of your life home. And that's usually three to five years. And I think it's important to go into this with that expectation. Something else that's important to remember is when we're in a very competitive market, like we're in right now, one of the things that we often ask our clients is, is this the house that you want to go to the mat for? Is this the one that you're willing to go all in? Because frequently that's what it takes to get a home. So how do you know if this is the right house to do that with, or if it's just another house? Well, number one is how do you feel about it? And while that's a really generic question, we have a couple of hints. If this is the home that you remember after looking at eight homes over four hours, that's a good sign because it's stuck out in your mind. Also, if it's the house you wake up the next day thinking about, another great emotional sign is if you walk in that house and in the first five minutes, your gut says, I want to write an offer. But you also have to look at the logic of it. A good home buying decision is a mix of what you're emotionally attracted to and also what makes sense for you. So it's good to evaluate things like, if you put up a list of cons for this house, are these things that are fixable? For example, maybe you don't like the color of the paint in the living room, that's fixable. But if you don't like that there's railroad tracks running behind the house, that's not fixable and it doesn't matter what you do, you're always going to have those railroad tracks. When we look logically and we think about, is this a good fit for me? We have to think not only about your needs today, but your needs over the next five years. So for example, it might just be you working from home and a two bedroom might seem great, but what if there's a family on the horizon? Maybe another bedroom is a good idea to sort of think ahead. And finally, let's talk about how your emotions can work against you. Sellers and their agents will try very hard to excite your emotions. They'll do this with beautiful photography, amazing staging, and possibly even a memorable description of the property. But it's important to weed through that. You have to look at the house for what it is, not for how it's being presented. And that's one of the things we like to do with our clients during showings. We like to identify those things that don't actually come with the house, like staging. Here's a little trick and a hint that we give our clients. When you have a home that is beautifully staged with expert photography, take pictures on your own cell phone and look at those pictures later. If you still feel the same way about the house, you know it's real. If the house suddenly loses its luster, you know then you're just falling in love with the presentation, not with the house. To us, this is the key to making a great decision and knowing, is this the one that is worth it to go to the mat for? Is this the one?